So let's say I want to differentiate y equals 4x cubed minus 3x squared from first principles. So dy by dx is equal to the limit as h, as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h take away f of x. So f of x is 4x cubed minus 3x squared and f of x plus h is 4 of x plus h cubed take away 3 lots of x plus h squared. So we've got the f of x plus h and then we're taking away f of x so I'm going to put that in a bracket because there's more than one term and then dividing that by h. Okay? So we now need to expand these brackets. Now we've got 4 lots of x plus h cubed. So that's 4 lots of. Now, as I said in the previous video, if you're not happy about going straight from that to an expanded form, then go through it step by step. So 4 lots of x cubed plus 3hx squared plus 3h squared x plus h cubed. That's the expansion of that. Then we've got this expansion. So x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. And then we're taking away 4x cubed minus 3x squared. All over h. Okay. So... Let's multiply through and see what we've got. So we've got this 4x cubed plus 12hx squared plus 12h squared x plus 4h cubed. Take away 3x squared. Take away 6hx. Take away 3h squared. Take away 4x cubed plus 3x squared, all over h. So let's spot some cancellations while we're here. So we've got, um, we've got a, a negative 3x squared with a positive 3x squared. We've got anything else? Just having a quick look through. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, sorry, we've got the 4x cubed and the minus 4x cubed. They should go. There we are. Okay, so we're ready to go. So we've got what we've got left over. We've got the 12hx squared. We've got the 12h squared x. We've got the 4h cubed. We've got the minus 6hx. We've got the minus 3h squared all over h. Now we've got a common factor of h in each term, so we can cancel the h's. So we've got 12x squared plus 12hx plus 4h squared minus 6x minus 3h. Now, any term that's got an h in at this point is going to be tending to 0. So that one, that one, and that one. Leaving us with the 12x squared and the minus 6x. So looking back to what we started with, 4x cubed would differentiate to 12x squared. Minus 3x squared differentiates to minus 6x. Okay? And that's how we can show it using differentiation from first principles.